Let's take a look at how to get audio out of Final Cut Pro 10 and over into Adobe Audition for mixing. Now, first of all, you can see here we have an edit in Final Cut Pro 10, and it's a pretty simple edit. We have a couple of things going on here. We have some um, bumper music, and then we have dialogue from a couple of different people from my brother and I. This is from our uh, new YouTube channel called Film Talk. Um, if you're interested, I can put a link for that down below. Let's talk about how we get it over into Audition where I feel like I can do a better mix. I have more tools at my disposal that make it a little easier to kind of dig in and really kind of fine tune the mix. So the way we're going to do that is come up to the file menu. We're going to choose export XML. And in this case, I'm going to call this working with clients. I am interested from a metadata point of view, just in the audio. And we're going to use the current version 1.7. Go ahead and save that. All right. Next, I'm going to bring up an application called 10 to CC or X to CC, however you prefer to say that. Okay, now we can choose File Open. And what this is doing is asking us to choose an XML file that we exported from Final Cut Pro 10 and that we want to convert to a format that can be read by Adobe Audition. So I believe we'll take this one right here. Okay, it has found that there are a number of different roles. We really don't need the video roles, so I'm going to unselect those. We do have dialogue and music, and so I want to keep those selected. We want to include enabled clips and components only, so I really don't want anything that's disabled. And There doesn't happen to be any of that in this mix, but if you did have some disabled components, um, you, could, you could include all of them if you wanted to or exclude them. Um, I would prefer to exclude them because I probably disabled them for some reason. We also want to bring over the audio volume levels and keyframes, so it will bring over the fades and things of that nature. So we'll go ahead and click OK, and it will ask us to give that a name. Now we're over here in Audition. Let's go ahead and File, Import. OK, here is the file that we created just a few moments ago. We'll go ahead and double-click that one, and that will import all of the clips laid out for us just like we had in our mix now. The reality is, when you do this, um, things are not always as clean as we would like. And in fact, there's usually quite a lot of cleanup to do. That's beyond the scope of what we're going to do here. <laughs> but let's assume for a minute that I went ahead and finished my mix. I did all the cleanup and organization and then went and did my mix. You can see here it brought a bunch of stuff we didn't need. Um, in any case, once we finished that mix, what I would do is a final mix down from here. Now, my deliverable in this case is going to be a stereo mix, so I would just come up to multi-track, mix down session to new file, and choose entire session. Now I can go ahead and save this as my final mix. Then, when we come back over into Final Cut, what, what I typically do is I command all to select everything and create a new compound clip. We'll go ahead and give it a name. See that sort of collapses everything. Now in this case, I am not interested in having all of this. I want to disable all of this sound. So I come up into the inspector, click on the little speaker icon and disable the dialogue and music tracks. So now we have no sound. And then I import the final mix and I bring that in and we just drop that in like this. <laughs> Now it's all set to go. That is a kind of an overview of the process in general terms. <laughs> Obviously, there are a lot of nuances and details that we need to come back and look at in more detail, but hopefully that gives you a sense for the kind of overall approach. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you have not already subscribed, I would recommend you come over to school.learnlightandsound.com. Get yourself signed up for free, and then you'll be notified whenever new sessions are posted. But also, you will have an opportunity to submit questions for our future question and answer session. So we'll talk to you again next week. Mm -hmm.